Okay, we're, today we're going to be looking at the Golden Eagle 2 by Custom Signals. Um, we're going to start off in stationary mode and uh, discuss the button layout and basic operation. And then we're going to be going to moving mode and showing the features of the radar there. To start with, we hit the power button, lights up with all eights and says pass, so it runs an internal circuit test. And right now we're looking at a target speed of uh, between, um, we got two cars that are waving back and forth between 52 and 42, depending on what the closest car is out there. And we're showing a fastest car here of 62 in the, in the fast window. Notice this is the fastest light is lit up. I can turn that off here by pushing the fast slow button and then that turns off the fastest mode so I'm just strictly looking at right now target speed the strongest car okay we're gonna turn the audio down a little bit and um, first of all we have the on the starting from left to right the lock release button if we hit lock it's gonna lock in whatever's registering in the target window for the moment if I want to relock in the speed I can do that and lock in the 53 instead of the 61 I had. We have the test button. As long as we're holding this test button down, we're showing all the segments. We let go, it's gonna show pass. That means the internal circuit's passed and so forth. We have the mode button, which switches us between, um, in this case, it shows our patrol vehicle and the opposite uh, lane of traffic, but we're not moving so it's it's just showing the patrol speed as the traffic right now. Um, audio, we're going to go back to stationary uh, mode of operation. Audio is press this button once and then you can up down the audio with this with these arrows right here. Range, you hit that button once and then we can use the same arrows to up and down the range. We're going to leave the range set on a maximum of a six. Hold basically puts the radar in a position where it's not sending out any signals and that's to defeat radar detector. You can also do that on your remote with the front hold button. If I hit that hold it's going to start registering speed. Hit it again it's going to show hold. Now I'm defeating radar detectors. So the point is you can wait till the car gets close enough, take it out of hold, you've instantly got his speed here. Hit the lock button lock him in and write a ticket. Okay, the uh, other buttons on the remote, we discussed the lock in the front and rear. There's the front and rear. If I hit rear right now, it's showing ant because I don't have anything hooked up in the rear. Otherwise, it would show the speed of the, of the vehicles in the rear. Go back to the front. And then we have the fast slow. Uh, basically, uh, uh, we're going to unlock the radar and if I put the fast button on it's going to show if there's any cars doing faster than this upfront vehicle it's going to show those in the fast window so that's convenient for if there's a semi in this window that's up close you can see the Corvette behind them that's speeding in the background with the fast feature uh, patrol select that's set for 20 you can set that, and I won't get into it, to work by hitting a combination of buttons and get the minimum patrol speed down to 10. But we don't want to do that because um, we only want to use that minimum patrol speed of 10 when we're actually patrolling in a subdivision or something where the patrol speed, I would need lower patrol speeds than 20. Um, and the other button is the same opposite. If I'm in the moving mode, like I am here, I'm in opposite. If I hit the same opposite, now I'm clocking not the car coming at me on this side of the road, but the car in the same direction of travel on this side of the road. And that's if I was moving. So as far as stationary goes, we're going back to the uh, um, mode where we're in stationary and we're seeing cars as they go by uh, 
and this radar if you can see the size of the antenna it's only two or three inches long about a couple inches in diameter very small and then we have our suction cup bracket that we feature uh, which can be bought separately for other radars you may have and it basically mounts this antenna anywhere on the windshield so I could mount that over here up high all the way over to the left or down low put it anywhere in the windshield I want and then you can position it left right up down with the gimbal uh, mount that it's got on there very easy to use uh, we sell these for the stalker duels and every antenna that's out there uh, Decatur custom MPH uh, you can get the bracket for that antenna anyway um, right now we're going to go ahead and start in the moving mode by pulling in the traffic okay I'm going to go ahead and switch my mode to moving now you see my patrol speed at 31 and oncoming traffic uh, it's already got that truck way up there around the corner at 46 mile an hour. If you see the double dash on there, that means that there's a car that's matching exactly to your patrol speed. And so the radar will blank out any target that's matched exactly to your patrol speed to eliminate ghost readings because there are normally readings matching your patrol speed because the radar actually sees a reflection of your car moving just like if you were walking toward a mirror you would see your reflection walking back at you at the same speed you were walking toward the mirror so to keep this a target from reading just random speeds of when nothing's there they block out either blank out the, the display entirely when the patrol speed meets, meets the target or you'll see a double dash uh, we got fastest car on now of course so we're seeing um, The faster cars if there's something faster in the background moving it'll show that so we got a 3841 if there's anything slower than the target then it's not going to show anything in the fastest window our antenna is kind of pointing to the right here so we're not picking up the cars as far down the road as we would while we're around in this corner okay we're going to swing around and go the other way once our patrol speed reaches 20 it picks up on that I've got the fastest mode on so I'm watching in the left window the strong target which is the upfront vehicle or largest vehicle in view and in the middle window I'm looking for any radars in the background that are going faster Antenna aiming is critical if you're wanting to get the maximum range. You want to make sure that antenna is level with the road and pointing straight ahead. Don't angle it to the left of the center of the center of the road uh, unless you're on a divided median. Okay, we've already got that car at 54, 52. This one's 56. Fifty-three, but we're seeing a car back there doing 54 popping up 57 56 in the background okay, we've already got that car way off in the distance now at 60 and we have 
have a faster car popping in now and then back in the background. Okay, now we're going to discuss uh, same direction moving mode. So far we've been doing opposite direction which shows the indicator on the left side of the of the divided line here. We're, we're clocking cars just coming at us on the left side of the road. Now we're going to use our remote here on the bottom right and select use it, hit the same opposite. Now I'm actually reading the car in the same direction. Notice it's got the car in front of me doing 58. I'm doing 53. Notice it's not picking up this car on the left side of the road at all now. We're, we're picking up the car way down the road up there going the same direction we are. You won't get the same range on the same as you do on opposite because the radar needs to filter out a bunch of ghost readings that may occur or whatever. So we're going to try to catch up with that car and see if we can start picking him up again. And this works off the rear antenna as well. If we had the rear antenna, we'd be kept clocking cars coming up on us. Um, coming up from behind and uh, in our direction of travel. So that's really a, a nice one to use. We're getting some ghosting around this corner. We'll put this back in opposite until we get someone insane here. Okay, we're in opposite moving mode and we're getting ready to go back to same. I got a car in front of us here. It's showing him doing 55 and I'm doing 71 to catch up to him. So there's an instance there where you could ride somebody in the same direction of travel that you are. I'm doing 67 and he's doing 62. Now my speed's going to drop down to match his and when it does it's not going to show his speed any longer. Going back to uh, if, if my speed matches his then it won't register so I have to be going at least a couple of mile an hour slower or faster than him in order for to pick up uh, his speed. If I'm just pacing even with him it's not going to show anything because the radar doesn't see any relative motion at that point toward or away from the patrol car. We're going to go back to opposite for now. We've got that car up there, the white one doing 62, someone behind him doing 64. We're going to go back to the uh, same direction and we got this car in front of us now doing 51 again and we're doing 60. Back to opposite. So anyway, uh, what we want to, what you can get in the, uh, you can get some ghost readings off of guardrails and stuff that that are um, that may flash up a reading now and then, but the trained officer knows to ignore those kind of readings and pay only attention to the close to the readings that actually have a good audio return. As you can hear on the audio, I've got a good strong signal and a steady speed. I know I got that semi at that speed. If you hear any really noisy readings like that, that could be just some radio frequency interference for the moment. So we want to listen to the audio along with watching for a, uh, if we do lock in a reading, we hit the lock button and then we continue to watch to make sure that that wasn't just a ghost reading. That's what we call tracking history on the radar. So with tracking history, we're looking at um, comparing what you know is a speeding car with the reading and listening to the audio to know that you verified a target. And like I said, I'll unlock that. And um, I'm gonna lock in this next car. 54. 
and so I know that was I'm continuing to watch in the target reading to make sure that 54 is good. If I saw the 54 and it bounced over to 45, then I know that was just an erroneous reading. I got a car behind him that I, th I thought I was clocking the car in front of him, but it may have been a different car. We got this car coming around the corner already. I'm gonna show you how the hold works. If I'm running here and I'm not setting off any radar detectors at all, Okay, I'm just sitting here going along. I'm not setting off any radar detectors and I'm going to take my radar out of hold and pop somebody and before they can hit the brake, I'm going to have them locked in. There's that guy locked in.